it's time to go exploring with Emily Young, right here on the Veritable Quandary. Here we are! This is Emily Young, learning about snakes. Hi, I'm here with Wally, and today he's going to teach me about snakes. Hi, Wally. Hi, Emily. How are you today? I'm good. Emily Young, she'll score a goal, play pretend, make a bunch of brand new friends. Learning, laughing, sharing, smiling, we'll have lots of fun with Emily Young. What's your favorite snake, Emily? Um, the boa constrictor. Boa constrictor? Okay, we've got boa constrictors here and they're really big. Huge? Yeah, huge snakes. Do you want to know why the boa constrictor is my favorite why is, snake? Why is it your favorite snake? Boys, they act really silly, and and that makes me want and and that makes me want to squeeze them so tight. Okay, we're gonna bring out a small boa constrictor for you today, mm -hmm. so you can see just how hard he squeezes. You really enjoy it. Ooh. And this is what his skin feels like when they shed. You gotta be gentle with it, but see how big he was too. That Same thing, and it comes off in one whole piece. Adding this one. And that's his yep. That's his tail. And these are actual snake eggs. They they feel like like thin shells. Yeah, they do. Hiya. Look how big he is. How do I get a job at the zoo if I wanted to work at the zoo when I get older? Well, you have to go to school and study about animals, whether it's zoology or veterinary technicians or veterinarians. And that's where I, you apply for the zoo and you I get to work with different animals. I know how you can learn more and more about animals when just going by the library. Yeah, you, you like can. animals and then you bore and then you borrow books about them and then you learn more and more and more by reading the books. Every day. Hey Wally, do you think I could I could I could meet your favorite snake later? Absolutely. In fact I'm gonna go get him right now. But while I'm gone, I'm gonna introduce you to Doug. And Doug is a person who works in this area. He's a senior keeper, so he's responsible for taking care of all the animals in his building, including all the snakes. Hurry back! Okay, I'm coming. Here we go. Hi. Hi, Emily. How are you? I'm good. Wow. You ever seen one of these? He's, he's pretty. Oh, look how smooth he is on the bottom. He is smooth on the bottom. What's your favorite thing about snakes, Doug? I think my favorite thing about snakes is that uh, they're just unique animals. But he's very gentle, so he won't squeeze us. He won't squeeze us, no. He's not big enough to hurt us. Because he wouldn't try to hurt us because he knows he's... But he might squeeze a rat or something. Or yeah, bunny. he certainly would squeeze a rat. I think snakes are pretty amazing. Because snakes are one of my favorite animals. Mm -hmm. They are pretty cool. And I wanted my mom to get me a snake. And she wouldn't? Um, no. Oh. Maybe someday. <laughs> Touch my nose. And here's a black rat snake. This kind of snake is the biggest snake that we'll find in Ontario. She is friendly. Doug, do you think you can um, take me around and show me the other reptiles in the zoo? Sure. Wally will be back in a few minutes. <laughs> This is Emily Young making bird noises. I can talk to them when you listen. Okay, maybe he doesn't want to call. Hey, there are the boa constrictors. Whoa. This is Bertha. Huge. Bertha was born here in the zoo. And she's 23 years old now. Did you know that Wally showed me the skin from a woolen district? Yeah, he did. That was pretty neat, wasn't it? It was long, 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 long. So, Emily, how was your tour with Doug? It was great. We saw we saw a huge boa constrictor. It's how like big that was long. he? Bigger than that? Bigger. Untie the knot. That's it. There we go. Now open the bag up really slowly. Fold it all the way down. Oh, he's really nice. Let's get the bag like this. His name is Elliot, and I'm going to pull him out for you. He's called a royal ball python. He rolls up in a ball like that, and he stays nice and tight so nobody can touch his head. Do you like jewelry? Yes. Do you want a snake bracelet? No. <laughs> can you hang on to him? Yeah. He's really heavy, isn't he? There you go. Look at that. The strangest piece of jewelry I ever had. When you watch things, it's fun, and um, you learn more about them. That's right and here. see what they do. Just the best part. 
So you can just put your hands like that and just give him a little, just pet him just like you do your dog and cat. My cat, he's so friendly. He, um. He wouldn't and, like Elliot though. Yes, he would. No, he would. Cats and snakes don't get along very well. Misty likes every kind of animal. What kind of cat is it? Um, a black, a black cat. Oh yeah. But but he, I don't have bad luck because he has white hair and right now his lower abdomen. Why do you think black cats are bad luck? No, he has white on him. Oh, does he? Oh, okay. That's why we call him Misty because white and black make gray. Oh, great. Thank you so much, Wally, for teaching me about snakes. I had lots of fun. Thank you, Emily. And you too. This episode is over, but the very best of my collection is banned on YouTube. To see what you have been missing, go to archive.org and search for Gyro Screw Loose, and I'll see you there.